Many waterways in South Africa stand to benefit from the removal of phosphates from powdered washing detergents. If over 80% of washing powders are now phosphate free, we should see dramatic changes in water quality in a relatively short space of time. Ons het besluit om nege handelsmerke van verskye vervaardigers te toets om te sien hoeveel van hulle fosfaat vry is. In juli 2010 is a 182 bladsluif verslag aan die Water Navorsings Commissie bekend gemaakt. Die verslag beveel aan dat fosfaat een geheel en al uit reinigingsmiddels verweider word en noem dat wetgeving dalk nodig sal wees om dit af te doen. Die verslag beveel ook aan dat onderhandelinge tussen die departement van waterwese en vervaardigers van reinigingsmiddels aangegaan word om een wederzijds aanvaarbare proces om die doel te bereik daar te stel. Unilever het een groot bijdrage tot die verslag gemaakt. Sê dat ons onderhoud met RAS plan blie, is ons nou meer die mekaar as ooit. En die Unilever sy aantuigings feite is, is het fantastische nieuws vir die omgeving en mag het ook net die beste nieuws wees in de kades met betrekking tot ons besoedelde waterhulbronne. Wat ons verwarrend vind is dat niemand nie eers die wetenskapelik is wat saam met Rasplamde en saam met Unilever aan hierdie waternavorsingskommissie project gewerk het, bewis was van die fenomenale sky van Unilever nie. Ons het na die Instituut van Natuurlijke Hulbronne in Pieter Maritsburg gegaan en met twee van die wetenskapelikes wat die verslag saamgestel het gaan gesels. Ons het een opname van ons onderuit met Ras Plamli aan hulle gespeel om vast te stel of hulle licht kon werp op hierdie baanbreker omgevingsnuus. The majority of our washing powders do not contain phosphate. Your thoughts? Well, it's, it's really interesting and, um, you know, from a water perspective, it's, it's an enormous initiative and, uh, you know, I think you need to have done well in doing that. Um, why it happened all of a sudden is, is, is interesting. Um, I'd like to hear the reasons for that. Mm. Now, would you say the report is now outdated? Well, it still, it still gives the evidence for why it, was a, why it was a very positive move. How long did it take to compile this report? So it was two years, two, two years, years in the making. And what were the findings of this report? Roughly a third of your domestic uh, total phosphorus uh, is uh, detergent related. Um, that then translates to about 40% at the wastewater works of uh, your soluble reactive phosphorus. And then from there, leaving the, the, the wastewater works, entering the, the river systems uh, and dams, we calculated the loading, uh, the total phosphorus loadings on several important dams around the country. And those ranged uh, up to about 30% of the total phosphorus loading going into dams was uh, detergent related. With the meetings with Unilever on a regular basis, why didn't this come up? We, we, we assumed that they would do it, but once the whole thing had, had taken its course and possibly gone through legislation, but they were just very proactive in making a change very rapidly. Do is on scopes that do omenies with Bill Harding to deal. Primarily to reduce our greenhouse gas contribution. I don't know how he links greenhouse gases to phosphate, but anyway. The interesting point was the fact that they uh, not interested in, in letting the public make decisions on, on environmental issues, so they don't put phosphate free on the product, which was a big rush in South Africa a few years ago. Well, according to them, consumers don't make their decisions on environmentally friendly, being environmentally friendly. I, I think that's very true, but I think it's not the consumer's fault. How big is this news? It's massive. It's, if, based on the Water Search Commission study, which they took part in, it can be as much as 25% of the phosphorus load is now disappeared from, from the wastewater treatment to works, the sewage perspective. The, the phosphate that enters those works is grey water from households and so on. So that's huge news. It's, 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 it's one of the most positive things we've heard for, for many, many years. We actually become happy when industry reacts uh, on their own. It is very, some of the elements of being very good citizens and really showing that people in the industry also understand the need for us to preserve and conserve our environment and our ecosystems. The reality is that there's got to be a cumulative action and reaction by all and everybody in the industry who deals with the issue of phosphate and any other pollutants, by the way, I may say. Ons het al reeds genoem dat Unilever meer as 80% van die skoonmaakmiddelmark in Zuid-Afrika besit. Niet te min, daar is ander verskaffers wat ook een impact het op die waspoeermark. 
So ons moet gaan uitvind of hulle ook so gevorderd is op die gebied van omgevingsbewaring soos Unilever. Okay, we embarked on a project in 2009 to reduce the phosphate content in both auto and regular and in both brands by 50%. Now currently the phosphate content sits between 3 to 7% and our objective is to meet the deadline of January 2015 whereby we reduce the phosphates even further to meet the um, UK requirements or the EU requirements that are going to be imposed from January 2015. Unilever het op camera gesê dat hulle alle fosfate uit hulle waspoeiers verwijder het en dit is fantastische nieuws vir die omgeving. Maar ons is nog steeds verwaard. Van hierdie verpakkings, en dit is nou langer as een jaar wat hulle hierdie fosfate verwijder het, sê nog steeds dat een van die bestanddele fosfate is. Ek denk is ster dat ons achter die kap van die bouw kom. Hier het ons zes verschillende types waspoeiers in hierdie houwer. Vier uit die zes is Unilever handelsmarke. Die ander twee waspoeiers wat ons by twee van Zuid-Afrika se meest bekende handelaars gekoop het, is die sogenaamde nie genoemde handelsmarke. Ons gaan het laat toets, eerst in Stellenbos en dan in Pretoria en miskien sal ons dan meer duidelijkheid hee. This particular analysis um, we are not accredited for. We do it routinely, but we haven't asked for accreditation yet. Maar zal het voor ons een indicatie geven dat er wel fosfaten in woordig is? Absolutely. Uh, what we what we do is we are um, participating in um, interlaboratory study to um, verify and validate that the values that we get or the results that we produce are in fact um, accurate. So, uh, although we haven't um, applied for accreditation for this particular method, there is um, measures in place to um, to verify the validity of the of the data. Hierdie proces gaan ongeveer vijf dagen vat. Kom ons gaan toets in Pretoria. Hoi Kali. Hoi. Hoi, ek is Pornay van 5050. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Hierdie is opa en Kosi van Mailing Guardian. Aangename kennis. Opa het by ons aangesluit om die voorbereiding van ons proefmonsters te dokumenteer en om as onafhankelijke waarnemer op te tree. In Stellenbos het ons die droop poeiermonsters oorhandig, maar vir die uitslag van die toetse om aan die WNNR in Pretoria se vereistes te voldoen, moes ons monsters wat met water gemeng is verskaf. Is jylle geaccrediteerde laboratorium en is jylle geaccrediteerd om hierdie spesifieke toetse doen vir fosfate in ons water? Ons is geaccrediteerd om totale fosfate in afvalwater te doen. Die uitslag van die toetse in Stellenbos en Pretoria het bewys dat Unilever inderdaad gestand gedoen het aan al woord en fosfate uit die meeste van al waspoeiers verweider het. Ander waspoeiervervaardigers se producte het echter tussen 3 en 6% fosfate bevat. Nogtans was daar een teenstrijdigheid met een van Unilever se producte wat positief in die kaap getoets het en negatief in gaat teng. Waarvan ons nie seker was nie, is hoe vinnig die fosfatvrije producte op die winkelrakke sal kom en is dit dus moendlik dat het ou voorraad kon wees. Ons wil een antwoord hee op daar die vraag, as ook verskye ander vraag wat opgeduik het, sê dat ons eerste onderhoud met Ras Plam lief van Juni liever en daarom het ons een skaap onderhoud met hom gereel. Ras, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. But how much were phosphates reduced in Unilever's brands? And what is the definition of phosphate-free? Phosphate-free is really meaning free from detergent phosphate. And uh, that's what we call uh, sodium tripolyphosphate. In Unilever, uh, typically our formulations had between anywhere between 16 to 22% um, sodium tripolyphosphate. And what we did during the course of 2010, we reduced that to 2%. And then by the end of last year, we actually removed all the phosphates. On average, how quickly does a packaged product move through the system? There's a number of things that affect that. First of all, it depends on the different distribution channels. So does it go through the retail trade or the wholesale trade? And also the different pack sizes move um, quite quite differently. So we wouldn't be able to make a broad statement to say that it would take you know, a year or whatever, but we're confident that uh, as of today we're manufacturing phosphate-free um, detergents. We tested uh, some washing powders, some Unilever brands, some not, and some of Unilever brands came back positive. We could still have um, stock remaining in the trade um, from when we've manufactured it, so sometimes that stock could last you know, a couple of months. If we had not conducted the interview with Unilever, uh, the whole scientific community would still be under the impression that most washing powders do contain phosphates. Would this not impact research? I don't believe it has necessarily 
or will necessarily have an impact on the research, we still need to solve the phosphate and nutrient load issues and the, the challenges around water quality in South Africa. Are you planning to have some sort of a campaign to let the public know about this amazing development? At this point in time, we have no plans embarking on a separate campaign to inform consumers about the removal of phosphates um, from detergents. Yes, we will inform customers that we've removed phosphates from our washing powders. Sustainability forms a key role within Pick and Pay's organisation and it's important that we let our customers know that phosphates have been removed from washing powders. The viewers of 5050 would love to know which brands are phosphate free and which are not. Are there any plans to label detergents as phosphate free? At this point there are no plans to label our products as, as phosphate free. But why not? Because all our viewers care about the environment. Not all the, the population in South Africa, all our consumers uh, at this point concern themselves about the environment. Um, so yes, there may be the viewers of this program who are very um, you know, uh, passionate about the environment and that's fantastic. But the majority of our consumers don't see the environment um, as a big uh, driver for their purchase intention at this point in time. I have only one problem, and that is that South Africa is the biggest waspoeer maatskapie that is right to be. If they say that the most of the consumers don't waspoeer scoop with environmentalism and thoughts. But what is really sad is that they forget about our consumers who are well in the environment. En wat die geleentheid wil hee om een ingelichte kese te maak wanneer ons ons waspoeer skoop. So asseblief, duif ons die inhoud aan, merk dit dat ons weet wat ons skoop.